Daryl is a work from home plant dad who has filled his home office with tons of plants and tons of plant experiments. In this episode, he shares with us his propagation techniques, successes, and failures. All right, let's see what other experiments you have. So this right here, I can never pronounce this correctly. Raphidophila or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's right. the RT. So I chopped this one up. It was a lot bigger. Obviously, this one has grown because mm -hmm. down below, there's my prop box. And that's where all the cuttings are. So let me see. For your prop box, you have them in little trays in... And just sphagnum moss. Just sphagnum moss. And then you have this extra container, which is closed to, I assume, contain the humidity. Yep. But as you can tell, it's not like as humid in there, uh -huh. but it's still... Is it okay if I take a yeah, second? Absolutely. Check it out. I have not opened that up in weeks. <laughs> so let me but see. But as you can tell, like the roots are so... just shooting out on some of them. Um, so it doesn't, yeah, I don't think it feels, and it's... I, I have not watered it in a while, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still it's still moist. Oh, I like that root right there. Very cool. And then you have definitely new sprouts going on. Very, very fun. How long did it take you to get to here from the little cuttings? I would say just about like a month, month and a half. That's not, that's not long at all. That's awesome. Yeah. And obviously that. I can, I can throw away that, uh, the very yellow one. Right? Yeah. All right. But I mean, if this is your thing, you got one, one yellow one, maybe like maybe one or two of these aren't going to make it. But I mean, that's still, you're about over 90% success rate here. Yep. Very nice. And then in my other prop box, I think I also have like another tray of them, which they're more, obviously the humidity in that one is just off the charts. Okay. So sphagnum moss, a little, keep it moist yep. in a container. Is there anything else that you do? I just let it kind of like sit there. Oh. That's about it. Oh, those have been there forever. <laughs> so those are the, the forgotten uh, propagations. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, let me see what this is. What is this? Oh, cool. Uh, a small experiment. So here's a little story behind this. This is a, is it Pepperonia Owl Eye? Okay. So me and my wife, we were just shopping in like San Jose at just one of like the nurseries. And as we we're just shopping, we we're just like looking around. We did see like this owl eye and the, the leaves get big, like the size of like your hand. Mm -hmm. We saw that one leaf kind of like fell or like kind of like broke off. We're like, oh. Let's get a leaf. <laughs> so I, I put the, like the leaf on the plant that we're gonna buy, and you know I just took it home right. and I tried to propagate basically that leaf. So what happened was this tiny little bud of a leaf started to prop. So that's the, like the little propagation from the giant leaf. Wow. And it's just been a baby. For how long now? It's been like that for months. <laughs> I'm talking like I think we got this like. Six months ago, oh. it's been just the baby well. ever since, and I'm just like, okay, it's still green. Right. That's fine. Let's <laughs> give it a home. Okay, let's move on to what? What is this thing here? All right, so oh. probably something I was trying. This one has this has more humidity. You can tell uh, yeah. because of the condensation under the thing. I'll let you. I'm, I'm a seed guy, so I like to kind of try seeds. So as you can tell, I have not paid attention to this in a while. So this one, it's totally dead. <laughs> Ooh, so this, I like the, I like this, this box though, this container. Oh yeah, no, it's, can, it's definitely been really good for me. A lot of nodes, you know, like people who have like small nodes yep. or small cuttings or something. This looks, it's actually yeah, great. It's great. Obviously another super, Amazon. Super great. Wow. So in here is actually a, uh, in the sphagnum moss is a sumo mandarin kind of like orange seed that my son <laughs> likes to eat and i'm like okay give me the seed i'll try to grow it i have no idea if it's even done anything oh. this one's actually pretty cool the one, the, this next one philodendron martinium okay so these are aka fat boys so if you actually come up here this was like my starter set and i'll open this up but these are the little babies very fun 
Okay, so you got there just like from Seed? So this was like one of my first kind of like skeptical purchases okay. off of like eBay. You know, there's always like, it's like don't buy it off of eBay. You know, Seed's come from China or right, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. You might get something different. Yeah. I was like, screw it, I'm gonna just try it. But this came from Australia. And I, he actually had an attached video, so I'm like, I think this guy's legit. Okay. So, Whoa. so in here is basically just peat moss. It's 100% peat moss, and I just put the seeds in there. Mm. And you can tell, like, the little baby ones are just germinating here. Yeah, I mean. And obviously, like, the peat moss, you know, it'll grow too. But, yeah. But there's still some of the tiny little babies. And these are super so glorious. They've been in here since October. Jeez, so and they're okay, still so like small. April? What are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're almost May. Oh. But then here are the the little bit more mature ones. So those are the same exact seeds. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm excited to see what these uh turn into. Do you this, know what the mother plant oh okay you do this know what the mother is what it turns plant. into <laughs> right here. So this is a mature version of that. And I I had to buy this separately because I'm like at this rate of six months, <laughs> it is nowhere to catch up to this one. And I'm like, I want one of these plants. I'm like, I can't wait for this one to grow. Right. So I, I just I just went ahead and purchased one, but it's um, martiniums and it's cool because the codex of that is fat. It has Ooh. a fatter codex oh, this is... on it. So they call it like the AKA fat boys. Oh. Go ahead, you can, you can hold it. Oh no, no, I'm just trying to see the, oh right, right. It's this little fat little thing here. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, and this is the newest one just came out since I bought it. Very, very cool. And so why is this guy in uh, why is this guy in spag? Because you have like other plants in I, soil, right? Yeah. So most of my plants in soil, but if I get like a cutting or like a new plant, depending on what it is, I really like sphagnum moss. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so a vast majority of my plants, if they're kind of like newer to me, mm -hmm. I'll put them in sphagnum moss. I get a ton of fungus gnats, yeah. and I'm sure you've done a video on fungus gnats. Right. I think uh, all of us have done a video like on like fungus yeah. gnats, how we hate them like the most. So usually like the soil that you get, you know, mm -hmm. all the time, they always come with like fungus gnats. So I'm like, okay, I'm tired of it. I just kind of switch to sphagnum moss, and the substrate lasts years. So when you get a new plant that's already in a pot. Do you take it out of the pot and put it in sphagnum? Depending on that plant or depending on the size of it. Okay. So like for this philodendron right here, it's a Macaulay Spinal. Um, I have not repotted it. There's actually two plants in there. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is, I think that the bigger plant is probably good for its own pot, like in soil, but then there's a smaller plant down below. I will then try to separate it and uh, put that in sphagnum moss. Because okay. what I like to do is, I like to mix up the substrate. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be some plants that I like in soil, some plants I like in uh, sphagnum moss. Yeah. Do you have a burgundy slash pink princess? Oh, that's my first pink princess that I got. Oh. See, like, this doesn't look... doesn't look all that different from your... from your burgundies or quote, yeah. quote burgundies. Yeah. And you can tell, so these lower leaves, this is when I had, like, the, the T8 lights. Oh yeah, kind of like they stressed it out mm. a little bit, but so these are the two newer ones that I got with the newer lights, and you can tell. Look at that variegation. Super that nice. Pink just come through. Super nice, yeah. So definitely, the the light difference has definitely helped out. Very nice. And um, what is this? Uh, not ready for Instagram yet. <laughs> but... This was another purchase on a, a whim. Actually, my favorite oh. site that I um, I buy. Uh, plants off of is Macari. I don't mm -hmm. know if too many people use that, but this is a red heart, philodendron red heart. It did come with like large leaves on it. Yeah. And they totally wilted and died off. I, so this is I really it's like, making a comeback. I like this. This is very uh, bonsai esque. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's like the baby version kind of coming back to life. Very cool. And you have uh, multiple growth points yep. going on. Very, very cool. I like it. I like um, I like the imperfect plants. I think they they tell a story, you know? I think they tell a story about the plant, and they also tell yeah. a story about the owner. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what is this guy? This is, um, yeah, what is this guy? Can you guess what it is? Uh, considering that I don't uh, know do much you... about plants, go ahead. It is a lime fiddle. Oh. So this is, I think, a, like a golden dragon that some people say, the lime fiddles. Wow. Uh, I need to water a little is bit. Is it normally, are all the lime fiddles variegated like this? So, or is I, this like a split, uh, so I did see something like, actually I was looking like a couple days ago, there's three or four different um, types of these kind of like golden dragons. Oh. They could be all just green. Uh, it could have this pattern on it um, as well. And there's also kind of like... The segmental. Yeah, like uh, it'll be like white, kind of like those Florida ghosts yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think the, the golden dragons that I've mostly seen pictures of are the, the segmental uh, ones. These are, yeah, this is a little bit more marble. So this, this is one of my interesting plants because this is like my first uh, pricey plants that I bought online. So this was like 200 bucks yeah. and I got it from a place up in Seattle. So, and when I got it, it had like eight leaves on there. It had like four mature with like four kind of like juvenile like leaves. I'm like, okay, great. I have time to let it grow. Two days, two days after I got it, those juvenile leaves, they just yellowed wow. and they fell off. Just like this one, it was like hardcore. I'm like, what's going on? Like, I can't do anything. Did you get it rooted or did you get it um, in, a, in a pot? Did it come to you in a pot? Yeah, okay. it, it came already like in a pot. It was already like established. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was uh, male shock or something like, you know, like the plant shock. It definitely could have been like that. So it's bounced back uh, and it produces, obviously this is a brand new leaf. Looks, yeah. All right, this is a brand new leaf and this is another kind of like brand new leaf, so. Slowly, it's just kind of coming back. I don't know why this one's this one's kind of toast, but it's totally right. yellowed on me. Nice. Oh, how can we forget this one? This is your Thai. No, it's not. This is a. Is this a Thai constellation? Yep, that is yeah. a Thai constellation right yeah. there. Yeah. Like it? Very cool. So this is actually a. Oh a, wait, it came from a. Wait, 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 wait. I was like, it came from a. Yeah, I got a little story behind this one. Yeah, you can hold it and tell yep. your story. So, as you can see, right, this is a, a, a little chonk right there. Yeah. So it came to me, uh, so I'm part of uh, the Bardies group here on Facebook, and obviously you meet great people. Mm -hmm. uh, one of like the members, she was like, totally died on me, or it's totally like yellowing or dying on me, I don't know how to save it or anything. So she basically gifted me this Thai constellation. It had two great leaves on it. It was all had fenestrations and everything, but then they kind of died off just because this plant was dying. So then it took me a while. She's like, try to save it. So, so was it, so no roots? You got it as no roots? It had no roots, no nothing on there. And then the two big leaves just kind of died on me. Yeah. And I basically just kind of brought it to back to life. Oh, very cool. And if you see, look, look at all those roots. Yeah, this looks, yeah, it's super, super well established now. And how long have you had it? I want to say maybe about six months. Wow, so six months to chonk? I think so, to, yeah. This is about to... September, whatever September was. Okay, so it's April year. now, so whoever, anyone watching can do the math. Yeah. I don't, uh, <laughs> I'm not that good at math. Very, very nice, yeah. It's, it does have like another like little growth point coming out here. Maybe it'll do something. Yeah, I, I doubt it. I doubt, yeah. I'm sure you'll just keep getting growth. It'll just, I'll just be focused on this these right here. Yeah, very nice. Wow, that's great. That's great. So, so uh, I assume when you got it, you just basically just laid it on top of the moss. I laid on top of the moss, but originally it was actually in my, one of my prop boxes. Okay. Right? Mm. I did the same kind of method, the sphagnum moss, but yeah. it made sure it kept the it. humidity in there. All right. Yep. Wow. Congratulations. That's Thank awesome. Thank you. That's awesome.